really Bloomsburg playing an excellent first half here. Controlling Millersville, I'm sure, in the manner in which Coach Charlie Cronister wanted them to. Starting out the zone now into a, a very tight, or starting out in the man-to-man -man now into a very tight zone. Look at that move by Daniel, bringing the crowd back into the game. 42-41, the Huskies with 2.15 left in the half. Steve Melker has checked in for Bloom, and there's a turnover. Bradfield again. That's the Millersville team. A little turnover. The crowd is absolutely going wild after those two consecutive stuffs and Millersville up by one. Now Simpkins is the point guard working out to uh, the big man Wilson out beyond the 19-foot line. Conley, he misses. Here come the Marauders in high gear. Daniel blocked from behind and Troy hustles to get it back. 43-42 Millersville with a minute 25 left in the half. Gaines, Hughes, here's Clay. They want to get him into the offense and they can't do it. Rebound Tommy Gaines by Wilson. Just got, just got a, a way with running into Wilson on that rebound. Well, Bloom with good D can again recapture the lead. Melcher misses and Clay has the rebound slipped through his fingers with 56 seconds left. Millersville up by one. The Huskies, though, with the basketball. This is Conley. Look at that guy. He's all alone, and Melcher misses a layup. Who's got it? Bradfield. Four on two. Bradfield lays it in. Great move by Bobby Bradfield. Split the two defenders. Took it to the hole himself. Good job. Melcher was molested when he took that layup, and fortunately for the Bill, there was no call. 45-42, only 30 seconds left. Let's see if the, no, the Huskies won't go for one, but they throw up a short shot. Bad pass, but Hughes has it, I mean Daniel. Troy Daniel on the front end, looking like a wide receiver. Stuffs it. 47-42, the Bill, counting down from 10 seconds. One shot, the Huskies better hurry, only two left. Simpkins lets it fly, but the buzzer sounds. And, and you can hear the crowd here at Millersville as Bradfield and Troy Daniel lead a late first half surge. The Marauders leading 47-42. We'll be back with our halftime comments right after this. 